You know, battle rap is, uh, you know, it go through a lot in their mind, you know, like um, you have to put up with a lot of these, like the worst thing was the, um, the, the, the critics, yeah, expecting you to just, take any any type of criticism mm. you know and then if you get mad about it they're like oh these battle rappers they're so salty they're so like uh sensitive they're this and they're that but you know they they expect because we take insults all the time oh we'll be able to take insults from you know any average joe or a- anyone like that and it's it's not like that you know with people but i've heard a lot of um contact sports fighters say Real fighting in the street is 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 a totally different feel. You know, going past the pub and all of a sudden, you know, they get recognised and it's like, oh, all right, yeah, no, because they, you know, there's, yeah, yeah. there's a there's always a challenger somewhere, right? Yeah, oh man, <laughs> there's always that guy who want to try and prove themselves against somebody who's certified, you know. Yeah. So like, uh, li- living living a co- competitive lifestyle, you know, because there's always someone who's watching who's gonna, you know want to take your straps you need the television app 24 7 mini documentaries podcasts live shows dj live streams top five subscription packages plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports download it from the app store for free today yo nolan poland records for underground classics no poland records.com Box created. Killer Keller. And we're here to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller Podcast. Yo, ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller Podcast, live and direct, central London, where central as you need to be, want to be, choose to be. Uh, hold tight, pirate.com, 24 7 music, podcast, and dance studios all across the UK. Big shout out to all the affiliates, nopolandrecords.com, strange station, .co.uk. Hold tight, everyone that's got the Television app. Come on, son, download it free, Android, iPhone, for your Apple and all that business. We're going to get the street culture popping 24 7 music and street culture on their free download app uh yo inside the place today we're covering a genre of rap and i don't say lightly because this gentleman seems to be eclipsing everything at the moment especially in the british side of things and he ain't and he ain't an early start he's been doing this for a hot minute um battle rapper mc black chaos the, alongside the ims it is the awesome 10 chew in the building what's happening killer <laughs> why are you i'm good bro i'm good First of all, you completely blew my mind when you said you come up from Portsmouth, south of England. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It didn't take that long to get here. It was like, what, a couple hours? Just nothing. Yeah, no, yeah, like yeah. All a... part, of, part of the course. I always find that when you're coming from those sorts of places, as we spoke earlier, before recording, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm southern native, uh, it's, it's, it's part of a journey that you're just like, well, I'm going to spend this amount of time doing this. I need to get the rewards out of being up here for this amount of time, innit? No, 100%, mm-hmm. you know, um... At the end of the day, the traveling's worthwhile, you know. It's, it's just to promote something big, you know, Chaos Black, the name of the project. Mm. Yeah, man, look out for it, you know. Mm-hmm. So as you've just heard, Chaos Black is the uh, new project that's come out alongside the IMS um, and uh, Tenshu, which, on on listen, because I have, I have delved, and I've got to say, bro, like... There were some surprising moments. I mean, aside from sleep of mods, big up Jason. Um, but it was it was more um, yeah, great feature man. But and also to have him rap alongside you, it's these the, the dynamic was was actually beautiful. You know, it's it felt like it felt like a a, a slight juxtaposition, an ode to six music. <laughs> yeah. You know oh well, like um. Yeah, it's just great to collaborate again. It's actually the second time I've collaborated. And um, yeah, you know, it's just um, like you say, a great juxtaposition. Mm. You know, um, two entities from two completely different worlds on one track. You know, it's music. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a fusion, and um, yeah, that's kind of what we're trying to do. You know, trying to stand out. Like, so. mm. yeah, I was just gonna say this because the the idea of working with someone as a collective such as Sleaf of Mods, it isn't actually skill set, it's message. If you have an integrity of what you do, that resonates with Sleaf of Mods. And I think that that 
you know, class, skills, you know, demographic of where you are in the country, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's almost like it just pulls everything. Because they can roll with punks. Yeah. They can, you know what I mean? This, this is, their, it's, it's, it's sentiment, isn't it? Yep, yep, yep. Nah, totally. Um, they're like authentic in their own way. So um, they get the respect based just off of that alone. Mm. So, uh, yeah, you know, what, what, what they do is like, you know, it's, it's real, like, you know, it's um, not diluted. Mm. It's like they representing in their field, like how I'm representing in mine. So, mm. you know, that's kind of what it is. And Jesus Christ, you represent your field, my brother, without questions, <laughs> in battles, you know. Big up Don't Flop, big up uh, um, and at every other platform that the yeah, houses. Shout these, out them. Houses, beasts, beasts. If you guys have not, and I swear to God, I'd be very surprised. I'd, I'd eat my hat if you hadn't. But to anyone that is not privy to the URL, um, Rap League, the Don't Flops from back in the day, you know, your name was in, in so many circles. It was just part of the... It, it was like a, a, a crazy tapestry of different skill sets. And it was almost like caged lions. And then all of a sudden, in a real gladiatorial way, you guys just fucking went ham on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, um, back then, I mean, I guess there were there were different vibes because I, the last battle I did with Don't Flop was 2016. And um, back then, it seemed like there was a bit of a different vibe. It was almost less competitive. It was just more about, you know, showing yourself and... Um, Com- comedy, banter? Um, or, or just being a showcase? Well, yeah, just a show, an appearance, mm. you know, like it didn't really feel like... Um, the competitive element was there, at least not for me anyway. Mm. You know, as opposed to when I did it um, in the earlier years, which was what, um, 2009 to about 2011. Mm. Yeah. And in them years, I always kind of felt like when I was doing it, I I had to just totally kill my opponent, you know, Mm. like kind of like how um, the old school days were, you know, when we was battling for prizes and, Mm. and, 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 and that sort of thing, you know. But um, I you know the game evolves, things change. You know, you know, the YouTube world. Mm. You know, I started battling before YouTube, and um, back then it was just like about you know winning the prize, whichever that was. You know, talk us through the mindset because there'd be a lot of people out there. I mean, I've experienced it with beatboxing. Um, the one man uh, stoic mindset that you have to set yourself. To going out there into the uh, the octagon goes through your mind from the from the jump. You you get to the venue. What the fuck's going on in that head? Well, to tell you the truth, most people who were around me, whenever I went to an event, didn't really like being around me because I was just oh, man. How do I say it, man? I was irri- irritable. Really? Yeah. You know, it was. Um, I'm just focused fully on what I've got to do. You know, there's there's no playing around this. Um, you know, you, you step in that ring to win, like, and, uh, you know, what else can I say? Like, you know, I was, you know, to, to my son's mum who was rolling with me at the time. Oh, my God, she must have got it, didn't it? <laughs> she knew about it. She knew about it. Oh, you I'm know? not going to the rap battle today. <laughs> you're, you're, you're not going to be in the good headspace for me being around. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. You know, and um, just go over there and get something at the bar, babe. I'm just about to go in. <laughs> yeah, it was. I was terrible to be around before a battle, but um, you know, it's more like uh, when I'm going into battle, I just come with that mindset of whatever happens, happens. You know, like mm. uh, it's it, it. I mean, it's almost like you're gonna go to war and you're just ready to die. Mm. You know what I mean? Uh, so any anxieties are kicking in. Is there a back? If there's a backstage. I would imagine, you know, it's 50-50 if there was going to be that kind of privacy. Uh, and then there's other people that are there geeing it up. There's obviously money on the table. There's things going on. People have paid to be there. Da, 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 da. And your <laughs> anxiety's through the fucking roof, basically. Well, check it out, right? Um, the worst thing you can do to me before a battle is say, are you ready? Because you're just making me think about it more. And I don't want to think about it. You know, I, I kind of just get myself in a zone where I ain't overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah. I I've seen videos over the years and with you I don't for a second get that impression that anything is too on top for you. Like you 
like you say, if someone says, are you ready? Of course, you'll all of a sudden start ripping your shirt like Hulk. Yeah, yeah. But, but in terms of, like, behaviour, yeah. you just, you're, it's almost like you've lowered your um, stress levels to a point of complete and utter, it looks zen. I guess that's how I deal with it in my own mind. But, um, you know, that's that's just me, you know, shielding all the negative thoughts out and just um getting in the zone like you say zen you know um yeah and um, what what triggers okay so for you to really like boxers have these kind of triggers don't they yeah. of like okay think of something that do you know what I mean do you have a do you have a thought do, is there a, a go-to box that says do not open unless in a battle emotional attached thoughts that just make you want to fucking spit fire? Um, well, it, it takes the opponent to say something uh, worth rebuttaling. Really? Yeah. So, like, uh, normally if somebody comes at me and raises their level, I know I've got to raise mine. So um, that's kind of um, my incentive to try and win. How do you get to that point? Because... Of course, there's a lot of pre-written that goes involved, you know, when you know the compo- opponent that you're playing. Yeah. But then when someone does say something, there's got to be some sort of c- connectivity to your response and that takes freestyle. Yeah. How That's often does that is. happen? Oh, every time. Really? Yeah. Every time. Um, because when I first started battling, I weren't really messing around with a pen too much. You know, it was... um on the spot like it you know what year was that what 2003 maybe 02 no I think it was 03 but um yeah back then it was like a you might get one person who who write a couple lines here and there and that's kind of what we were all doing mm. like we was maybe writing one little line down or two little lines or if not writing then you know keeping it in your head for mm. that situation mm. and um Basically, you step up there, you maybe drop that line, but you always have some, you know, freestyle to back you up. Like, a, a, a lot of freestyle to back you up because, you know, the majority of the battle is going to be that. But, um, yeah, pretty much how we used to run it back then. Like, uh, you know, nowadays, you know, they get busy with a pen, which, you know, is all good, but I'd rather make songs. Yeah, 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 of course. This is evolution, isn't it? Yeah. Part of the course of a of an artist full stop is um you can't stay in one place forever because nah. of, you know what I mean? you you, nah, you nah. get tight cast and also you don't have the creative juices going, do you? Do you what? know what I mean? In terms of writing? Just staying in the same place. Oh. You want to evolve, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Um well to tell her the truth as well, um you know, battling generally it is quite negative, but I understand that um, you know, it's what we gotta do. You know, it was really for me, my whole motive for getting involved was visibility. Mm. You know, just is easy promotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's always been said battling. So um that was kind of my plan with it, like, you know. Go as hard as you can over a period of time. It's interesting that you consider trajectory like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I guess with n- now how battling has turned out, you know, because it's almost become its own thing outside of hip hop and music. Um, would I say it was a great idea? I, I mean, it didn't turn out perfect, to say the least, because most of the fans I got want me to battle. Mm. You understand? Mm. Like, um, you're not necessarily too familiar with the music thing. But at the end of the day, you know, um, that don't mean they can't be converted. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's, it's, you know? st- uh, dude, I, 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 that correlates with me slightly because with beatboxing, there's the purest beatboxers that like the battle. They're the beatboxers that like new sounds. Yeah. You know what I mean? The moment you try and put them on record, it's like you're just suddenly trying to reinvent the wheel. And it's like, yo, come on. Like, don't you get this? It's the same thing. It's just, you know, where you've got the industrial sound of the live beatbox, you've now got the human sound of the beatbox. And it should be like both. I know it, I know it shouldn't both be um, uh, liked, but it should be, all, it should be mutually accepted that 
Yes. Yeah. And I can imagine that's pretty hard with yourself, whereby you've got these hardcore fanatics. That, yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, fully, fully. Um, I guess people just like the, uh, you know, seeing the result, mm. you know, seeing who beats who and that sort of thing. Maybe that's what brings them into battling. Or comp, you know, like the same reason people watch boxing or MMA. Mm. You know, people want to see the head-to-head Mm. You know, the, the, whereas, you know, when you're on your own doing it solo, it's more just like a show and not everybody's into it, you know, who's who's into battling. So I've got, yeah. I got some comparables here that, that maybe <laughs> they might trigger some response of you um, with graffiti. Yeah. People love to see trains and track sides getting hit. Yeah. But the same audience probably wouldn't be prepared to put their hand in their pocket when someone has to pay for a penalty fee or um, make or, or getting this person out of bail. Yeah. It's the same sort of thing, mixed martial artists for sure. Like if people want to see the brutalism of the fight as well as the art, but are they actually prepared to pay for the hospital bills after watching it? These are the things that yeah, I feel man. like, yeah, I mean, like yeah, yeah. we go through these things and all of a sudden we garner this audience and are like, we want to see more of that, more of that. Yeah, but they ain't yeah. actually, they don't know what the consequences are. Nah. nah even from a battle nah. rapper point of view. Nah, they don't. Totally don't. You know, battle rappers, uh, you know, go through a lot in their mind, you know, like um, you have to put up with a lot of these, like the worst thing was the, um, the, the, the critics, yeah, expecting you to just, take any any type of criticism mm. you know and then if you get mad about it they're like oh these battle rappers they're so salty they're so like uh sensitive they're this and they're that but you know they they expect because we take insults all the time oh we'll be able to take insults from you know any average joe or a- anyone like that and it's it's not like that you know with people just like anybody else you know mm. it's it's you know i hear a lot of um it might not apply for everybody, but I've heard a lot of um, contact sports fighters say real fighting in the street is 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 a totally different feel to um, being in the ring or the octagon. Mm. So um, they say that, do they? Yeah, I've heard it. Oh, I bet I've they heard. get conflict. I bet they get conflict all the time. They must get like a right headache. Well, you know, going past the pub and all of a sudden, you know, they get recognised and it's like. Oh, all right. Yeah, no. Because, you know, there's, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's always a challenger somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, man. And there's always that guy who want to try and prove themselves against somebody who's certified, you know? Yeah. So, like... Uh, Bragging rights. Almost. Exactly. Exactly. And, um, you know, you just got to watch out, ain't you, you know? Yeah. Live, 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 in, live in a co- competitive lifestyle, you know? Because there's always someone who's watching who's going to, you know, want to take your straps. Yeah. Uh, comedians also have this um, vulnerable position where not only they could be in a social situation at the moment they say, oh, I'm a comedian. Oh, tell us a joke then. <laughs> it's the same thing, though, that holds so much um, uh, internal figuring out is going on stage on your own, yeah, by your own, and you're either great or you fucking flop. <laughs> And beatboxing and battle rapping is exactly like that. People can sniff when you're shit. Like yeah, almost yeah, on the yeah, walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit's fucking mad, isn't nah, it? No, I hear this, I hear this, man. Um Yeah, I mean, um you just gotta be ready, you know, hundred percent. Um and just also know like what I also tell any newcomer is you know, don't be look, if you mess up, yeah, it's a big learning curve anyway. You know, there's always something to learn from it. And if you really enjoy doing it, then you won't mess up because you're basically doing what you're put here to do. Mm. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. The more you give the negative the thought, the problems then start manifesting. Exactly, exactly. Fucking tennis elbow. (laughs) You know. (laughs) It's not real, but it plays in your mind enough. Um, Yeah. You're an extremely professional uh, minded and very calculative person. I I I sensed it the moment we met. Yeah, yeah, I do yeah. feel like you you're extremely stoic about the way you handle things, 
And I want to know where that comes from. Tell us about your growing up. Tell us about where it all kind of started for you. Um, yeah, I grew up in um, South Norwood, near Crystal Palace. Um, got into music around the, 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 the early to mid-90s time. Mm. And, and it, you know, I really used to feel nice when I, when I heard the music that I grew up listening to. A lot of it was, you know, around the time of, um, you know, Jump around House of Pain. Mm, you know, I've mm. said I've said this in interviews before, you know. Um yeah, but these cool people are, these people only watch the Killer Killer podcast, you know. <laughs> that's yeah. cool, that's yeah, all good. I mean. Yeah, you know, um Coolio, you know, rest in peace. Mm. Gangsters Paradise was a big tune, you know, I was what about nine, ten years old back yeah, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um you know, plenty to you, like Boom Shake the Room, Fresh Prince, man, you know, like I was Bro, like hold tight. So you said Boom Shake the Room. Bro. <laughs> Don't be sleeping on Boom Shake the Room. I, I was so, like, drawn to everything that Fresh Prince did back in the day. Like, yeah, yeah, it's fucking yeah. uncanny. Like, what, what, what's your age? Man? Uh, I'm 44. 44, yeah. gotcha, man. I didn't think you were 44, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah would it? Looking yeah, young, man. See, see, see. You <laughs> can stay as long as he wants. <laughs> Where b and this place. You wouldn't do that, I'm your guy. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Yeah. I mean, this was... The, the dynamics of rap back then, bonkers. Yeah. Being introduced to West Coast rap. Yeah, wasn't it? It wasn't yeah, even yeah. and Atlanta, yeah. TLC, Outcast. Of course, like... of course. You know Snoop. Yeah. You know, um, yeah. That's pretty much, um, you know, that that was kind of the sound I got. I really gravitated towards. I mean, another one was um, Return of the Hot Stepper. You know, like mm. uh, that was that was a big tune. Mm. You know, so like around that time, it kind of like I gravitated towards the music that I make now. You know. Through them, through them times, like and uh, yeah, you know, um, South East London grew up, um, weren't really that into the garage thing, you know. I I, I like it, I mm. still like it, but um, I never really felt like doing it, even though that was the thing that was um, you know, very widespread mm. around that time, in 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 my locality, and uh, yeah, um. Don't know. After that, I, I moved down south to Portsmouth, um, two thousand and one, and just continued with the music. I mean, I started writing with your family or on your own. Nah, with my family. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um, I was what like sixteen years old. Yeah, old type yeah. Portsmouth. Yeah, oh, I see. Yeah. And I continued writing when I went there, and um, yeah, here I am today. You yeah. know, like uh, that's where it all began. Yeah, that's hard. When you. When you when you have like a thing like the the, the battle rap league, it be, almost becomes a portal. Like you say, to use it, to exercise, exercise what you can out of it because the, it's almost like a, a massive spike in in opportunity, isn't it? Yeah, fully, fully. I mean, um, that was when uh, what two thousand and eight, mm. two thousand and nine times, you know, don't flop appeared even though before them it was the jump off yeah big up jump off as well yeah, yeah shout out jump off that was actually that was so sick because they had the whole they had the whole pageantry going on as well didn't they what yeah. like the girls oh, the, the, yeah. yeah i mean it was just like yeah i see you there see you i remember man the booty shaking contest and uh yeah all them sort of things man yeah jump off big man shout out to them yeah but um, it wasn't till don't flop came around i really got involved in the whole you know battling on camera thing yeah like, uh, you know, I used to watch some of the jump off battles, but, you know, back then I kind of thought, you know, because it wasn't the first time I got involved in battling. You know, the first time was 2003, as I stated, mm -hmm. uh, in, in some local battle in yeah. Portsmouth. A lot of people travelled for it. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like um, yeah. The, the, the likes of um, Gleam and, and um, Salvo. No way. And um, who else, man? Few, few others, man. Wow. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a few of them. You know, came from other South Coast areas. What's the other guy's name, man? Um, what's his name, man? From the Three Amigos. I can't remember his name, man. He's desperate to battle me now, though. Really? I can't really? remember what his name is. Do, man, they, but... do you still get that? You still get people wanting to battle you even now? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking funny, isn't it? Yeah. And that's yeah. something. And yeah. and do you take opportunity in that, or are you just like, nah, man, come on, I'm an artist now. I'm doing more more time now. Nah, you know, yeah. like I don't really. Like fuck with it now as far as battling because 
I'm on a whole another plane now, you know, my mind ain't even on that level now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And I always kind of found, you know, when I was a little bit more silly, a little, you know, less mature about things, I was definitely more suited to that platform. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'm going to say something, and you're, if you know of a rapper called Capo... Of course. It's fucking done. No, no, 100%. I would put you on the same plane as Capo, so far as lyrical standards go. Oh, no, bro. Don't we take that? Yeah, big up Capo, you know what time it is. Yeah, um, shout out Capo, proper, man. Proper levels, and even to this day, levels. You and know? Spaz the World, that's a great album. Yeah, man, big time. Um, and yeah, I hold you in the same regard. Um, you seem to be very, very focused. We will go and get a drink, you know, and you, you said, I don't do caffeine. Do you do alcohol? Do you do any... I mean... Well, it's not that I don't do caffeine, yeah, but I keep it to a minimal. Yeah? Yeah, keep it to a minimum, man. Very much like, uh, it's not like I've gone out to say, nah, I'm not having caffeine, but like, it's the same with alcohol. Yeah. You know, like I keep these things at a minimum. Um, alcohol, you know, I started driving. Um, and since then... You have no I need. You know, it's just hard to incorporate it. In, in anything I mean I didn't drive here today because London yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> not easy yeah yeah but um yeah yeah you know with driving alcohol just don't really go with it you know you know how it yeah. is and and as for caffeine it's more like it's all really to do with health mm. you know I, I was gonna say you look like for those of you who watch uh, listening and not watching um yeah he's a good looking lad and you fucking you know you got the, you got the whole physique thing popping he's a tall guy as well you know what I mean I was like yo what's good <laughs> it's yeah, like man, yeah, you, you yeah, know yeah, you look yeah. well man and I, it got me thinking you know because a lot of people they they have this there's a philosophy and b-boys have it a lot as well whereby you know they stick to the plan and there's no deviating you know you can't go out and get a bit boozy you know it's, yeah, not, yeah, it's yeah, not that yeah, so I was yeah. wondering whether there was a uh, a a um, uh, a uh, Commonality with that in in MCing. Um, 